It's been three years since the release of the legendary Raspberry Pi Pico. Now there's the Raspberry Pi Pico 2. Let's take a look at what's new. The main difference between these two boards is the silicon used to power them. While the Raspberry Pi Pico features the RP2040, Raspberry Pi's first chip design in-house, the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 features the brand new RP2350. Before we have a look at the chips, let's compare the differences in the boards overall. While the Raspberry Pi Pico has a 133 MHz system clock speed, the Pico 2 runs at 150 MHz. The Pico on the left has 2 MB of QSPI flash memory, which is doubled in the Pico 2, featuring 4 MB. The familiar 26 multi-purpose GPIO pins still exist on the Pico 2, but it comes with additional capabilities such as support for 4 analog to digital converter pins and an upgraded USB 1.1 controller. The Pico 2 is more power efficient as well, so it's better suited for battery operated applications. That's a lot of upgrades, but the Pico 2 is fully compatible with the hardware and software ecosystem from the original board, whether you prefer developing using Arduino IDE or developing in Python with Thony, for example. The Raspberry Pi Pico 2 has one thing that's compatible with the original that some may see as a drawback. Yes, it's the micro USB connector, which has not been upgraded to USB-C on the Pico 2. Well, there are pros and cons. Keeping the original connector means zero change to existing fixed wire installations and third-party enclosures. That's the price you pay for backwards compatibility. Now, having looked at the boards, let's focus in on the brains behind the operation, the onboard microcontroller. You'll recall that the original Raspberry Pi RP2040 has dual arm Cortex M0 cores, but with the RP2350, you get dual ARM Cortex M33 or dual RISC-V Hazard 3 cores. This doesn't mean selecting a specific hardware version when you buy it. The selection is done in software during the development phase, which is quite neat. It certainly gives you a lot more flexibility. The chip's maximum speeds are what the boards already support. 133 MHz for the RP2040 and 150 MHz for the RP2350. In terms of on-chip RAM, the 264 kilobytes on the RP2040 is now 520 kilobytes on the RP2350. So, not only has the board itself doubled its flash to 4 megabytes, but the chip now has almost twice as much internal RAM. Security was a significant new focus in the design of the new chip, which now includes ARM Trust Zone, Signed Boot, 8 kilobytes of anti-fuse OTP for key storage, SHA-256 acceleration, and fast glitch detectors. That will give you a much higher security fence against hackers. As for peripheral interfaces on the chips, let's refresh our memory on the RP2040. It has two UARTs, two SPI controllers, two I2C, analog to digital conversion, pulse width modulation, and USB 1.1. The same goes for the RP2350, but add to that additional state machines, more GPIO pins, that's up to 48. Obviously, these aren't broken out onto the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 board, but they are there for future custom applications or, who knows, a Raspberry Pi Pico 3? There's also a switched mode DC to DC converter, which contributes to the board's improved power efficiency. So. There you have it, the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 is fully compatible with your existing installations, but opens up a whole new arena of flexibility for new applications. Get yours now in the Elector Store.